Hi everyone, welcome back. Uh, just got back from the MG dealership, test driving the MG ZS EV. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you more about that in another video. I've done a live stream and uh, I've taken some pictures. I'll put those up on Twitter soon as well. But uh, while I was at the MG dealership, I left Cracker in the car of the Kona and I haven't actually tested yet how to leave the air conditioning on and lock the car up. So I actually left it unlocked. Um, so I put the car into utility mode and turned the air conditioning on and uh, left him in the car and I was still a little bit concerned about two things one if I went away for like an hour would I come back and find it switched off and um, it times out or you know there's some reason that it's gone off and then he's in the car boiling hot so I was a little apprehensive and then also the way you're supposed to do it is you leave the key fob in the car because you can't lock the car unless the key fob's in it. Um, so I was apprehensive of actually locking the car and walking away and leaving the car at the dealership with Cracker in, air conditioning on, because I haven't tested it. So that's just what I'm going to do now. I'm now going to do the test and that's why I've got the camera out. thought I'd share it with you, um, what I'm doing. So what we've got is um, the Hyundai key and on the back here there's a it's like lock mechanism. If you just pull that, see if I can get that right. Yep, pull that, the key comes out of the key fob. So I can leave the key fob in the car and lock the car with this. So let's show you what we're doing. Air conditioning's on. I'll just turn it up one so you can see over here. So on four, three, two, I'll just have it on one, just keeping it going. And the temperature, yeah, 19 degrees. And before you get out, remember to lock all the doors, because if you don't do that from inside the car, when you lock the driver's door on the outside, you're not actually locking the other three doors in the boot. So you need to lock them all from inside the car, and then finally lock the driver's door as you get out. Key in, clockwise turn, locked locked. Can't get in the boot. Yep, car's nice and secure. Okay, it's been about an hour. Car's still all locked up. So let's, uh, let's see what it's like. Anti-clockwise. That is much nicer in here. So this time I'm going to put the key fob in my pocket and uh, go outside with it and see if I can do exactly the same. So lock the inside. And we get the high pitched tone which stops. Car is locked. Ah, the back's not locked. Let's unlock all the doors. Lock them. Yeah, high pitch noise because I've got the key fob with me. But let's try and lock it. Okay, it's locked. It's locked. Ah, boots not. So key fob does have to be left inside, it seems. 
Well, that's that tested then. I'm now happy that I can leave Cracker in the car with air conditioning on. I must confess, um, turning it on to fan speed one wasn't really enough in really hot weather. It's about 30, 32 degrees outside and uh, the sun was absolutely streaming into the car and just fan speed one on air conditioning wasn't enough to keep the car cool. So I'll use at least two, if not three in future, uh, just to make sure it is really cool in the car. And I think I had it set to about, what was it, 19 degrees? Yeah, so a bit more fan speed and then it'd be perfect. But the security of the car, absolutely key fob with you. Um, I tried twice, as you saw, and didn't work locking the doors with the key fob with me outside, leaving it in the car and just manually locking the car. The car was secure, still on, still in utility mode and keeping the dog really, really cool. So there you go. I hope that's useful too. It saves you doing exactly the same test. Can you really leave the car? Will it stay uh, cool and will it not shut off? Seems to. Seems to be absolutely fine. So I'm a lot more confident having done the test. Thanks for watching everyone. Take care. See you again soon. Bye bye.